as you guys said, there is a 12 minute trailer that right now we just can't watch it. We don't have the time to watch it. We're just two goddamn minutes away. Two goddamn minutes away, guys, from the actual, the actual factual live future games show. I did it. I did it. Oh God. What did I do? Okay, we're here. Wait. Where can I see future games show? We're in time, we're in time, guys. Don't worry, we are in time. <laughs> Trailer speed run complete. <laughs> so far, I'm not impressed. I'm gonna be honest, Brad Bond, maybe they didn't show the best games and games gone. And now we're gonna have 50 trailers and the Lies of P actually, I think it's gonna bring be here right back along with Hogwarts Legacy in a dark, um, God, what was the other name? The Dark Picture is the Devil in Me, or something like that. Here we go. Ready to game the system? Meet Mana. You slay. You achieve. You slay. You win. <laughs> so should your bank account. Because your power shouldn't stop when the game does. Mana is the best game rewards debit card, where you can earn perks and points by paying and playing, and get rewarded with the things you actually want. Like that skin you can't wait to show off. Or your next gear upgrade. So why pay any other way? Pay with mana. Pay with power. Mana. Game the system. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> but everybody can do whatever they want. I'm not doing that. All trailers will be available on their native resolution on the Games Radar YouTube channel after the show. Oh! Hello? Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Judge, though you may know me best as the Met of Myth, Dead of Boy, <laughs> God Slayer, Kratos, <laughs> from Sony Santa Monica's God of War series. You didn't know my voice was actually this deep, did you? Usually that costs extra. Tonight, <laughs> I'm swapping the axe for a whole new microphone, because we've got a ton of exciting video game trailers to get through. But like all good adventures, this one requires teamwork. In fact, I'm calling on another mighty god's power to help me out. Oh, Danielle? <laughs> Danielle? Freya! Daniel! <laughs> Are you with me? I've always been with you, Christopher. <laughs> it's so good to see you. And for all the folks at home, my name is Danielle Basuti. I voiced the Witch of the Woods, AKA the leader of the Vanir, AKA the Valkyrie Queen known as the Norse Goddess Freya in God of War. And I don't need Freya's foresight to know that this event is staffed with some serious amazing news. That Hopefully. That's quite right. And that's because this is the feature game show, powered by Mana, a digital showcase event streamed live across the nine realms. But also and exclusively, Planet Earth. Tonight we'll be treating you to over an hour of exclusive trailers for upcoming video games. You'll be able to find and wishlist all of the games from today's show on the Feature Game Show Steam page. And you can head on over to GamesRadar.com to read all about them. Well, my darling, that was quite the intro, but we best get going. Fimble Winter doesn't last forever, and we've got all that unfinished business to attend to. So let's kick things off with our very first world premiere. Because she uses her voice only, she can permit herself to have beautiful nails, long and beautiful. It seems I can't that do when that. experiencing deja vu, a strange phenomenon occurs. Dude, are you awake? Oh, come on, man. We really need to talk. We just had a meeting here at Naraxis. It's really bad, man. Don't trust. The hippocampus is an old cortical area involved in multiple aspects of memory formation. Oh my god. There's a movie Breaking about this. Our past with our present experiences enables it to construct our autobiography. Oh no. There's a huge flaw. They kept it a secret for years. 
Latest research shows that by changing our brain waves in the hippocampal region, deja vu creates a brief... Memento. Exactly, Bartu. World. What the Call hell? as soon as possible. The gap. Is this gonna be a memento style? The, the last part didn't make me feel like memento. It's more like we can create our own world in our head, but again... It's easier to salvage your memories when they've been carved into ancient walls. Well, not all of us have such mythology. The Gap is coming soon to PC. Yes, part two, it's, all, it's already on YouTube. Series X and S. Players of our next game might think they faced every monster space has to offer, but the team behind Aliens, Fireteam Elite, have a few more surprises up their sleeve. Do they mean Aliens by the series Aliens, the one that you also tell me that I gotta play because it's the best horror game ever? Besides movies? Alien, Patagen, load up. Well, so far, our Memento gameplay really, really, really caught my eye. I'm just gonna keep moving my head. <clears throat> so the face huggers don't get me. Aliens, as all he says. Team Elite Pathogen comes to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on August 30th. This reminds me a little bit like Doom. Now I mean, you can have some badass moments with this game. Our friends at <clears throat> Sorry, with this game. Series, the team behind Hypercharge unboxed, you know, the toy box shooter that went viral on Twitter. Scout Pop, thank you so much players, for the resub. For Thanks. Small soldiers. Dive into the oh no, Zen, thank you for gifting us up to Girl Scout Pop. Thank you. Your mission is to defend the hypercore, collect action figures, and defeat major evil. Watch out for the Cyber T-Rex. Or the boss in the bathroom. And dozens of more classic toys. Be vigilant, soldier. The fate of toy kind is in your plastic hands. Hey, this this one is kind of funny. This one doesn't have to be bad at all. Mr. Brooks, hi there. How what you doing? What are you waiting for, recruit? This one could that be funny. Body voice sounds vaguely familiar. Hypercharge Unboxed is out now on PC and Nintendo Switch, with an Xbox and PlayStation release coming soon. Now, here comes another shiny world premiere for all you super sleuths out there. Super sleuths? What is sleuths? Guys, I'm so sorry because I'm not a native English, you know that, but... What, what does she say? Loved every minute of the demo, Lucas Pope returned to the Albra Vin. A true detect a detective game, linear, Non-linear. <laughs> Well-made, clever, fantastic style. Seen Venom and Firewatch. Absolutely <laughs> nails detective investigation. <clears throat> oh, small soldiers. Thank you, Adok. Or an unofficial detective. Thank you, guys. Revenge. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> I'm just following orders, sir. I didn't mean to. Corpse. I don't. The thing. That's a toot. The case of the golden idol. Demo life. No. This is one of those games Murders that is Mad Libs with a Midas touch. 
The case of the Golden Idol is coming to PC in 2022, and we're pleased to announce a demo is going live right now on Steam. Yeah, but right now I'm watching future game no show. Snacks, fridge empty. It's time to answer the call of the trash can. Is that in the script, or are you <laughs> just thinking out loud, Danielle? Oh no, it's actually the premise of our next game. <laughs> And I had to keep uh, the voices, you know, from Freya and Kratos. Kind of like how they how they present this. My little raccoon. Oh, we first had a kitty, and now we have a raccoon. Snack food spam. Welcome to a new version of Stray. Raccoon style. No, not really. This doesn't look like in a futuristic era in which everybody is dead. But it is in a place where they don't permit snacks. thing snackoon i would give you so much food i don't know i don't know what to think about this game but fun f at least the trailer was funny stinky Stink. sly and always looking for their next meal <laughs> raccoons are a lot like us when you think about it snackoon is coming soon now you might want to dim the lights, as it's time to soak in the dark atmosphere of Tainted Grail, the fall of Avalon. I'm ready, but I'm not gonna go with my lights tinted. Oh, to, to sing this is super hard. The good rolls, uh music. It's a first player. Good. I thought I'd get us to fire burning. Would have been a shame to freeze to death. No, light. So Lights are dark. Not not eyes. Remember Skyrim Patrick just a little bit. What was left of him a mile down the road. The weirdness merged him with his horse. A horrible way to die, don't you think? Graphically sp speaking, it didn't look that good, Reliant, but... The Fall of Avalon is coming to Steam early access in Q4 2022. Our next game oh, is no. I don't know what to think about it. Which means we can all experience this reveal together. World premiere. It's hard to say when we pass the point of no return. But we did. <sighs> We made our world uninhabitable. Because for the smartest animal on the planet, humans can be really stupid. Civilization started to creak at the seams. And if there's one emotion greater than greed in humans, it's fear. Perhaps it came too late, but it did. And when we are afraid, we get reduced to a single instinct, survival. We need land 
We need food and shelter. But in the end, we need each other. We need communities. We need cooperation. We need to build something together. Will it be something that won't collapse this time around? Will we ever stop being afraid? Well, maybe you'll be the one to unite humanity and shape the society of tomorrow. Oh, Mr. Brooks. <laughs> oh, thank you. Welcome. How you doing? Flatland. It, it kind of got me at first. It's one of those well, let's games. Pray there are no world serpents in the water. Battles at the ready, <laughs> because Floodland is coming soon. I hope we From never get to a world, world like to that. Another. It's time to catch up with Plot Twist, the developers behind the last case of Benedict Fox, a spooky Lovecraftian Metroidvania. Have, haven't played this game. And this is one of the games that won the awards as the most expected game on Xbox. The Gamescon Awards. Hi, My I'm Bert, creative director on the last case of Benedict Fox, a fantastical Lovecraftian Metroidvania in which you dive into a twisted world of secret organizations, forbidden rituals, <laughs> and cold-blooded murders. Oh God! Your aim is to uncover the secrets of the mansion and the murders that happen within these walls. But to find out what truly happened. You will need to dive deep into the memories of the victims and visit an alternative reality we call Limbo. You see, those two worlds, they're linked with each other. The mansion's secrets will help you out in Limbo, while what you find in Limbo will help you unlock the mysteries of the mansion. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> my, my, a real golem. Very difficult to pull off. Oh. Very illegal to even try. In our studio, we love Metroidvanias. We love how they reveal to you the world one step at a time. We wanted to take that feeling and combine it with a great story, a mystery that also reveals its secrets to you the deeper you dive in. It reminds him of someone silly and naive. It's annoyingly warm. To survive whatever the limbo throws at you, you can always visit our friend Harry Houdini to purchase some useful items. You can also use the demon ink you collect at the Tattooist to unlock new skills. Right now we can only afford the slam, which is still a very useful skill to have. Let's absorb it. Oh wow, thank you! People like me who never uh, had a tattoo, you're totally making me want to have a tattoo now. I want it. I mean, I want that pain. Sure. That was the slam skill that we just acquired. What did you think? Painful. <laughs> and that's Harry Houdini's lockpick in action. Resentment and fear. He survived her abuse and wears it like a badge of honor. You may feel powerful now, but remember, you're not the only one who can descend into limbo. Oh. What is that thing with robotic legs? Hey, it really is interesting. I'm not surprised that it won an award, but again... I'll take I'm not gonna get back to everything that I explained at that moment. Companion. Any day. The last case of Benedict Fox is coming to PC and Xbox in spring 2023. I would also classify our next game as a psychological thriller where you try desperately to maintain order while at the whim of a tricksy, malevolent beast. What? I thought this one was a cozy condo esque puzzle. <laughs> Me too! Oh, it's up for interpretation. <laughs> Me too! Annie? Launch date. Hmm, this doesn't look quite right. Let me show you our game while we sort this out. 
Is is this normal? <laughs> it's there. <laughs> um, 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 um. Guys. I don't know where to look at it. Good. Is there? Is there anywhere else where we can watch? <laughs> We're thrilled to announce that a little to the left is coming to PC on November eighth, twenty twenty two. The audio we've okay. changed. The it's been fun seeing all these cool games coming soon, but I figured we could use a quick break. No, it's not an idea. A change it's of not. scenery, perhaps. You read my mind. What were you thinking? What it's if I super told loud you right now, super radio-like. Tenth realm, one drenched in neon. And we haven't seen the other Plus, trailer that has been abandoned. <laughs> it's completely abandoned, guys. We haven't seen the I've other trailer. Rip. Ways, but Rip the other trailer. Oh, okay. Now the audio is back to normal. This nifty little realm is the virtual show floor. Oh Every my god. Every has a game attached with a demo dropping after the show. For those at home, which means all of you, Google Future Games Show Steam, and you can download and try out any of the games that catch your eye. All right. With that in mind, let's get started with our first game. This is very Maybe we'll super <laughs> inspired by Indonesian philosophy. Players will control Kimo and Wispy, a little inseparable duo, as they explore the world of Lumina. I like these games. Puzzles and defeat fearsome enemies. Well, now I'm missing Atreus all of a sudden. <laughs> What's next, Danielle? Always a good father. <laughs> Lovers of strategy and bootleg booze rejoice as this game covers both in equal measure. Moonshine Inc. is a management sim oh. where players battle it out to brew the best hooch in town. Players will expand their facilities and perfect the making of mountain mash while evading the panoptical eye of Johnny Law. With genuine fermentation processes recreated virtually, this sim is as real as it is. Sorry. Gets. Just make sure you don't get caught. And now for something completely different. Yes, because we're jumping from moonshine making to a mysterious metropolis. It's time to fear the... You don't want a Dwarfy simulator, guys, trust me. turns to Gloomwood, a grim dark ode to the immersive sims and survival horror greats of the late 90s and early noughties. Players will use all manner of Victorian era instruments to improvise, adapt, and overcome a town teeming with mischievous mobs. So what are you waiting for? Grab what you can see and get to it. Our next game also involves plenty of improvisation, just with a little bit less focus on monster slang. Care to do the honors? Of course. This is the Wandering Village. A sandbox <gasps> city builder set on the back of a gigantic wandering creature called Bamboo. In my experience, living with a giant tortoise wasn't so bad, but results may vary. Here, players will battle the elements and research technologies in an effort to rebuild. They gotta be so tiny. Society. Will you so and survive tiny. in this harsh, humbling environment by learning to bond with the beast, or choose to be a parasite, leeching from its life force? No. No, 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 no. I live in harmony. This game is Complete harmony. Like a chord. Well, maybe a few. Demonic musicians gather their cards in power chord. A rogue-like deck builder from Big Blue Bubble. Equip gear and create combos to strum and roar your way through a monster-filled battle of the bands held in grungy grottos and hellish hole in the walls. It's a card the game. Monsters come huh? in all shapes and forms. From demons to dentists. I don't think I would At play that one. In our next game, 
But I didn't expect that it to be a card game. This is a twin stick shooter set in the mind of a little girl called Rem. Players will battle their way through 80 levels of her vivid nightmares. Each one brimming with creepy manifestations of everything from vegetables to dogs and yes, even school friends. Dogs. Its charming art style will have you questioning whether it's creepy, cute, or a great mix of both. Now, if you'd rather wield fear Nose. than fight against it, then this next one is for you. The Fabulous Fear Machine is a pulp horror strategic simulation game where players will generate terror and expand their influence through the spread of scary stories and creepy conspiracies. From Bloody Mary to reptilian overlords, what the hell? Let the unexplained mythos of the public consciousness become your ammunition. The hell? What you got for me, Danielle? I think the question is, what haven't I got? Anno Mutationum is a sleek cyberpunk RPG that blends 2D and 3D graphics to create a rich world that you'll just want to dive into. When you're not bartending or dog-sitting a cyborg corgi, you'll be slashing your way through cybernetic monsters and pursuing criminals in the underbelly of this atmospheric, vibrant neon metropolis. What was that at the end? That looked like a huge snake devouring the entire city. No matter their size. But never mind, I'm not... I'm not... I don't think I will. And bag boy, adorable makeshift robots... Oh, look at this. ...escapes to help out their friends and unravel the history of this strange world. Dress up and clean up as you get to know these little parts with big hearts. Just try not to screw up your jumps in the demo. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can't wait to see what those little guys get up to. But alas, it's time to get back on the Rainbow Bridge because that marks the end of our trip to the virtual show floor. Remember, folks, you can head to the Future Games Show Steam page to check out free demos for all of our featured games. I wouldn't mind trying them. <sighs> Good to be back Some of them. Terra firma. Don't forget to try those games after the show. Now, Maybe some of them. It's not often that you get a threequel, you know. It's not often that a game skips straight to third entry either. <laughs> Fair point. It might be too early to call it the greatest of all time, but for me, no, honestly, definitely. None of those games really impressed me, Doc. I mean, they might sound interesting. They might be a little bit interesting, but you know, nothing from the other world. So yeah, here we are watching the trailer of Goat Simulator Three. The f <laughs> Hello, my name is Victor. Oh, it's not a trailer. We are developing Goat Simulator 3, which is the second installment of the Goat Simulator series. Yes, Crown the Crow. Goat Simulator 3. Oh, Crown the Crow, the sorry. Beautiful island Welcome, by the way. Here, you can explore the local sites and experience the unexpected. <laughs> Uncover the mysteries of a long forgotten goat order. Order. Just destroy everything in your path. With over 350 different goat gears, you will have a bunch of ways of expressing yourself as a goat. <laughs> will make you look fabulous, but can also give you abilities. The fact that... And you can combine them... <laughs> Find them while exploring the island. <laughs> or earn That's it by simply being a goat. <laughs> you can discover something to together with up to three friends. You can either play online or couch co op. I need to watch some goat videos Everything after this. You can do in single player, you can do in multiplayer as well. Together, Belly you can of the wreak beast. havoc in San Angora without any restrictions. <laughs> if you Gastric play, launch! Put your skills to the test and challenge your friends in one of the seven different minigames. Minigames can be played either at a specific location for a tailored experience or played anywhere you want. You can play a round of car derby on a nice open field. 
or goats can drive optimal spot on the island <laughs> oh god you'll be able to get your hands on goat simulator <laughs> <laughs> i'm not doing that goat impression again now the game today to receive this wonderful look at those titties It's like no Seder I've seen. I mean, seen. Goat Simulator 3 is coming soon. Uh, it's coming now soon. It's time to check out the new trailer for The Chant, a survival game set on a remote island in the wake of a ritual gone wrong. Pillows at the ready. A ritual is gone wrong. Prime matter. Oh no. Cult, guys. Hi, my name is Mike Scoopa. We are Brass Token, and our studio mission is to tell thrilling stories through inventive game mechanics. The Chant is a third-person horror action-adventure game set at a remote island spiritual retreat. After a group ritual goes wrong, your spiritual awakening soon becomes a fight for survival. Oh god. As Glory Island fills with cosmic dread, you will encounter an array of prismatic creatures and cultists released from the gloom. Choose your fights carefully and battle using spiritual weapons and abilities. Collect, craft, and manage your resources, as each encounter could be a decision between fight or flight. Mind, body, and spirit are the three stats that drive survival, upgrades, and the ending you receive. Balance is everything. Oh god, the guy behind her. Hey. The chant is coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox in 2022. I wouldn't mind trying it. All right. It's time to learn more about Araban Shadow Legacy, which was revealed during the Xbox and Bethesda showcase earlier this year. Oh god, their audio has changed again. Helios. Hi, Chris. They search for someone who does not exist. The Shadow. Hi, everyone. I'm Alex, one of the founders and game designer from Baby Robot Games. We are really excited to be here today with you at the Future Game Show. Right now, and in partnership with Raw Fury, we are working on our debut game, Erevan Shadow Legacy, a fast-paced stealth platformer. He in a has such a Spanish game. accent. In Erevan, you will play Ayana, the last descendant of a forgotten race with the ability of merging with the shadows and moving freely through them. Your mission? To infiltrate and confront the cryptic megacorporation Helios. Investigate what they are hiding so in relation with the disappearance of your people. You may have seen our announcement. I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check it after the, showcase, the event. Which we hope you like. Today, we'd like to take a deep dive into Erevan's main mechanic, the Shadow Merge. The origin of this mechanic came from our passion for stealth games since we for were. For Spanish, 100%. Estelt. He said Estelt, what not Stelt. You could literally He's Spanish. With them. Spanish. No, no, no. European. European. And after testing how it was to move through he the said a in a similar way they do with the ink, that. we immediately realized the huge amount of possibilities this opened. A big one is that when you are in You're from Barcelona. you are totally undetectable. <laughs> this allows you to smoothly advance under the enemy's feet, suddenly appear behind their backs if you choose to play lethal, or conveniently disappear right in front of their boxes if you are in the ink. As He's actually as American, as just faking the accent to be memorable. Much time marching, the shadows have your back. Apart from that, the shadow merge also means a big advantage in terms of mobility. For example, he is reading that. I'm going to show you after the, the live event. He was reading it. Which is nothing bad. Just saying, even they move I noticed it. To navigate from one place to the other, or you can go through small spaces, ignoring fences, bars, or gratings. Or you can jump from high places and smoothly land in a shadow. A smoothly. Oh my God! A smoothly. <laughs> so As you see, the shadow merge is very versatile. So it's up to you to discover and combine all its possibilities. And that's only for the base mechanic, as during your adventure, you will learn upgrades and completely new shadow powers. But well, that's a whole new topic for another time. Erevan Shadow Legacy will be available on 25th of I'm sorry, I thought, that's our accent, guys. I can't help it. What we do today. <laughs> that's my accent there. We partner with Xbox to bring you the game for Xbox One, Series, and on day one on both PC and Xbox Game Pass. Oh, also, don't forget to follow Thank us you. if you don't no want PlayStation. to update. Thank you very much for watching, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the show. 
they I'll try it. Drag me into the because you said a stealth. <laughs> isn't exactly a god's forte, but I respect it nonetheless. Wish lists at the ready because Araban. No, no, he's pure Spanish. Xbox in 2023. Spanish, Spanish. My Spanish. To a shadow drop. Our next reveal is a real nostalgic surprise. Hmm. Our unforgettable journey into the labyrinth begins now. Welcome to the world of dungeon crawling. New graphics and game scenario selection, gamepad support, theme cloud support, custom... What? This is too fast! Onward to an unforgettable adventure. Wizardry Gaven. The Five Ordeals. English language version launches today. We're pleased to announce that the English translation of Wizardry, The Five Ordeals, is out now on Steam. Reply Game Studios Solstice is right around the corner. And the development team have a surprise to tide fans over until its release. I think I'm gonna have a look at the Wizardry one. Maybe on, maybe on weekend. Be reborn. Whoa! Become a chimera. Play the demo now. Costas, Solstice. Sorry. Scostis. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry, Sirda. <laughs> We're pleased to announce that the demo for Solstice is available right now, with the full game coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on September 20th. Now it's time to see some exclusive gameplay from After Image, a mystical, hand-drawn Metroidvania. Hi, the Fallen. How you doing? Product not yet rated. Modus Game presents an Aragon Shanghai production. Or as we Spanish say, Shanghai. The music is beautiful. Sorry, I had to say it. After Image coming this winter. After Image is coming to PC, PlayStation. Too many Xbox games. How the hell do you want me to play so many games? And study and work. Guys, have a little we debuted call. This next game during our spring showcase earlier this year, but we're proud to reveal more details about the player's exciting mission in Deliver Us Mars. Peggy 12. Deliver Us little Deliver Us Mars. Better in game footage. Please come in. Mission Opera has only one objective. Bring the arcs and their revolutionary technology back home. What do you expect to find on Mars? I'll see you soon, Mother. Kathy, why did you want to come on this mission so badly? T minus two minutes to cruise stage separation. Everybody copy? Copy. 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 Starting burn. My kitty is doing her claws. Sorry. We oh. are in loss of control. I know I can do this. By herself. How does it come? This reminds me of a movie too. Just just slightly this time, not a lot, just slightly. This isn't hard, Kathy. The hard part is knowing the difference between what's right and what's wrong. We have to leave. I will not risk the success of this mission. How do you stay strong through all of that? How do you stay? Dad! Good.
Oh, you just watched it? We we also we also made like a sum up just before this stream, the Fallen. PlayStation and Xbox. But this one reminds me of a movie of God. The this next game was revealed Mars? Was it called Mars? Live last night. God, I also watched it with you guys and shared it on YouTube. Slavic inspired slasher platformer Phantom Hellcat. So hate myself for not remembering names. I hate myself for that. Hi, my name is Norman Lender and I'm the creative director and co-founder of Ironbird Creation Studio. Today, I'd like to show you our newest unique project. The Martian. Most Thank you, Yen Bai. Western style slasher game. This game became our ultimate goal, Pride and Dream. It's a love letter to the generation of games full of giant enemy crafts and armies with more than one million troops. We will Thank take you, Vlog. To the golden age of slashers, which defined the console gaming experience years ago. Please take a look at the trailer and enjoy the rest of the show. I couldn't tell by his accent where he's from. All in games. A 2D, 3D game. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> now we've seen it yesterday. It reminded me of uh, Stranger Things. The, the red hair. The red hair girl when she starts her music. It really reminded me of that. That scene. Hi there, Caver. How you doing? Phantom Hellcat. Wish us now. I don't think it's Phantom a bad game. Hellcat is coming soon. All right. Let's mix things up with another surprise. It's time for our next world premiere. I like the guy that was right there, you know. <laughs> he was kind of cute. Alaska Expedition Camp. Look at him. Poor man. Too cold. Get back inside. Oh, mom, mom, mom. Little butt. I gotta hear a little cat. But. Oh. You're a little butt. Woo! Oh, I need. That was an easy kill. Oh, because it went right to the, through the head. Good. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! What did you just do? Age of Sanity. Well, they got my attention. They got my attention. Edge of Sanity is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch in 2023. Okay. Our next trailers are all from our friends at Wired Productions, who have some news about three of their exciting upcoming games. Oh, so the, the, this company brings not one, but three games. Three. No, because we can't. Hotel Farbro Barbro. Oh. Welcome back to work. Oh, a Sims. But for the hotels. No, oh, no, for Las Vegas. Myers Inio, hi there. How you doing? How are you? That's no, no, only I don't go killing people. No, 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 no. I, I'm not that crazy yet. We are all family. 
a family with one common goal. Customer satisfaction. Oh God, this sounds so creepy. As the old saying goes, you can't choose your family. Except here at Yongo, we choose. Be the horse that wins the race. Be the kitten that gets the milk. Oh, poor rat. I feel so bad for that little angel. The only thing that seemed alive here. I would hate to replace you. I knew it was creepy as hell. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. No oh, creepy games. I like it. The cycle begins anew. A new refuge, a haven, a bastion from which to rebuild. But this time we will succeed. We will build higher. We will build stronger. We will dream a new world. Strong! <laughs> Damn it. They are big indeed. Ball work. Build your ball work. How can your chronicles? Thanks to the team at Wired Productions for those two mm. world premieres and for revealing that The Last Worker is coming to PC on October 19th. A lot to look forward to. Next up is our Ones to Watch segment, which features several exciting upcoming games. Grid Force. Scare Ritual. Oh, this one actually looks interesting. Do not feed the monkeys. Twenty ninety nine. What the? <laughs> Moon Rider. Oh, this is so nineties. The park beyond, yeah, we've seen it. This game, oh, I like the idea of this game. I remember when you saw it, guys, and I totally like the idea. Feral, a new era. Dome King Cabbage. A little octopus was cute. That was our ones to watch montage. Make sure to wish list anything that piqued your interest. It's hard to believe that there are any world premieres left, but damn it, we've got one more for you. <laughs> don't say we don't treat you here at the future game show. So, so this is the last one? <clears throat> Peggy 16. My friend, you would not tell with such high zest to children are then for some desperate glory, the old lie, dulce et decorum es pro patria mori. It is sweet and fitting to die for one's country. It would take but a single act to spark a war, the likes of which humanity had never known. From former developers of Command and Conquer, That was not Spanish. Countless millions would now fight to hold. That was Latin, but I don't know if you meant something else. Sorry, Caber. Success measured in inches. Frontier Foundry and Petroglyph present. The stage set for the greatest 
stalemate in human history. Their lives and the fate of an entire continent. Now in your hands. The Great War Western Front. Relive history or redefine it. The Great War Western Front is coming to PC in 2023. Next, we've got a new trailer for Backfire Wall. Oh, I thought that was the last one. Adventure set inside of a smartphone. The, the way Daniela said it. Uh, I'm just reading what's typed here. <laughs> Hello there, I'm OS9. I'm the operating system of this phone. I kind of run things around here. Hello, and welcome to the update protocol. Uh, what was that? The update will now be installed. Oh, shift! Not the update protocol! Congratulations, the cache will be cleared out. Uh... Congratulations, new 1 bits and 0 bits will be put in their proper order. Are you joking? You're not even programmed to give me a good conversation. The system is considered a very dangerous place. What? Battery life. Update assistance will always make the right choice. No, 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 no. I, listen, listen to me. I understand you're confused, but this is really not the solution. If the system is not updated, the user will destroy... Would you just shut up? It's okay, buddy. We're, we're handling this. It's time to put it news you're great finding another way in skills. Yeah. Please get us out of here. <laughs> Pack firewall. Hey, hey, what's kind a of demo for Backfire Wall is available now on Steam. And the game is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch in 2022. Hello. Now it's time for our friends at Team 17 to take the stage. Let's see what they've got to show us. Peggy 18. Honeys. Moving out to Denise. Say hello, everybody. Say hello. You still love me despite I brought you to the vet today? Not letting me watch, you know? I haven't watched all, everything of this trailer, but it was worth it. Sorry. Moments with my cat is more important. No, no more heads? Okay, that didn't sound right. I mean, you guys know what I mean. I mean, you saw it. Oh, that visit was okay. Oh, last new game to be presented today. Oh. Who knows, nukes? Maybe that's what they meant. Actually, let me see what people what people are saying. They're pretty toxic, but yeah. Oh my god, never mind. I don't know how they arrived to talk about that. I don't even want to know. Why is always chat so toxic? Looks interesting. I think this one. I think I saw a demo of that one. Ship of Fools coming 22nd of November. The 
the taste of your lips I'm gonna fry The chat is toxic, no wonder, na 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 Yeah, you're right, Oli Morrison, it totally could be a Britney Spears uh, music, a song, god damn it. God, Team 17 has quite a good number of games. Thanks to Team 17 for providing us with a closer look at all of the upcoming games. I'm sorry. Honey, I just wanted some taps and, you know, taps and little, Check out more you know, details on games his way of hugging is by touching each other's heads. Next up, we've got a gameplay trailer for an immersive horror simulator powered by unexplainable phenomena. Games Use Studio and... Since the beginning and of civilization, Pikmin? the world has been full of unknown things. Anomalies that cannot be explained. We don't know where they come from, or what their purpose is. It's because of this that we founded the SCP Foundation. An organization dedicated to containing anomalous items, individuals, and phenomena. Individuals included. We secure. We contain. We protect. SCP Secret. Hey, another October game. Could be. SCP Secret Files is coming soon. Okay, earlier I may have told a little white lie when I said there was only one more world premiere. Yeah. Because I'm looking down at my script right now and I'm actually seeing another one, two. Little red yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just writing say one hood for now. How do you call it in, in English? But now she's blue? Modus Games presents Arena Games production Alone in an uncharted land. I like it. Wait, mystery unfolds. Now I'm actually gonna say what I was gonna say at the end of the event. Cover a hidden past. Wield an ancient power. This song is nice, discover buried secrets. And survive a forgotten enemy. <laughs> I like how she runs! <laughs> and find a way home. Where's the wolf? No, we don't have a wolf, we have a moose. Just look rad. You've got to love it when a beloved game gets a worthy follow-up. Tesla Grad 2 is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, I didn't notice the two. Switch I was wondering what what he was talking about. I didn't even notice the number two, guys. I'm so We've sorry. Got an update from Supermassive Games on the next entry in the Dark Pictures Anthology. Peggy 18. Where the hell are we? Let me get the fuck out of here. What the hell is that? We're trapped. What do we do? Is this a good idea? I don't see any other options. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. This is beyond messed up. Run! Jamie, over here. Check this out. It's a puzzle. A riddle of some sort. Tricks and traps. Playing games. That's <laughs> not what I was expecting. Seven hours of storyline. Can't handle much more of this. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. You okay? Not even close. Good. They mean seven hours of moments they talk, not seven hours of gameplay, right? Both of them will die. We have to choose. 
Now! Ah! Woo! Fuck out any way you can. The devil in me. Oh, this is the devil in me. Oh, it's such a shame they're not bringing it before that was the dark pictures and Halloween. The devil in me. Hey. Which we now know is coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on November 18th. It looks pretty great. Next up, the team at Cortez Productions have sent us a gameplay trailer for their atmospheric horror game, EXP War Drama. Oh, God. Sorry, I'm stretching. <sighs> game footage. Nice. I like when I see in game footage, in fact, because I feel I'm not. If I see that it's right, there's no doubt of it. You know, there's no doubt of the game. But when you see a cinematic part, maybe the story is great, but then the gameplay is kind of like meh. And you never know. A game by Vini Cortez. Cortez? Cortez. Oh, we. Oh, this would be one of those games in which, god damn. I would play it while I scream. Just like what Outlast 2. Why do you get closer to this? Oh jeepers, why did you even get close to it? What do you wanted to do? Say hello? If you gaze long enough into the uh, abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. This fucking face. Not for the phrase, but for this guy. X -war XP war trauma. Demo on Steam wishlist now. Hey, I wouldn't mind to try it out. Please to reveal that a demo for EXP War Trauma is live on Steam right now, with the full game coming soon. Hua. Now it's time to check in with Rooted, an apocalyptic survival game developed in Unreal Engine 5. Your Headlight. Please. This is a state emergency announcement. The Rotor Laboratory, on behalf of the government, assures that none of the bacteriological attacks will harm citizens' health. I quote, there are no risks of any kind. You are safe in your house. Do not attempt leaving the city using transportation services. What transportation? It's all gone. Dead. Was that just a recording from... allowed once a week for each citizen. Please use the dedicated smartphone app to register yourself and check stocks. You can proceed to go to work, school, shops around your block this really doesn't look like the covid era and i'm so happy to say that explore build salvage and survive it is crucial to have your id card with you at all times in case of control Oof. It's clear that nothing is okay. We shouldn't listen to the woman on that recording. Nothing is going right. For safety reasons, the army has deployed autonomous civilian security robots. They are here to- no, I, I, I watched a few Bobcat. I watched a few Saw movies. I think the first one. And I'm not sure of the second one too, but I would say the first two... Um, I would say yes. I don't remember seeing two. But I'm not sure if I'm confusing it with something else. I really hope that guy isn't the last of The first us. one for sure. Thanks to Headlight Studios for the closer look at Rooted, which is coming soon to PC. 
And here's a gameplay trailer for Hellsweeper VR, a new roguelike combat game from the creators of Sirento VR. Vertical Games, Mixed Realms Production, one of the most anticipated VR games of 2022. Oh, nice headshot. Defy the limits of movement. Oh god, doesn't that guy remind you of somebody? It's not the first time that we see a guy with a mouth as a stomach. Vault. Do you dare? I do. Just give me. Do you dare to descend into hell? Oh. Ain't that- it doesn't look that bad from this game's perspective, if you ask me. <laughs> Woo! Damn, I hate those masks or faces. God, don't ask me why they creep me out so much. Hell Sweeper, wishlist now. In VR. That looks gorgeous. Hell Sweeper VR is coming soon to Steam VR and MetaQuest. Our next game is Strayblade. I like to We're try it. To explore an ancient world with their trusty wolf companion, Boy. I mean, Boji. <laughs> boy, that joke never gets old. <laughs> like boy, Strayblade. Finally, we got an animal as a companion next to us. That actually helps us. Forge. With a blueprint, I should at least be able to craft something better than a rusty sword. I always have the impression that only the bad guys have the coolest animals or creatures, and you know, we just gotta fight them instead of having them by our side, you know? Why? That's one forge. thing that I don't like that much about most games. Best creatures are always our enemies, and it's like, why? Boji, I found something. With feeling? I can't wait to try this. This is an MMO or... That's a sore 100% skill tree attributes. So far, I feel that future games show is, could add this to my collection. you know, giving entrance to a lot of small, medium one. companies in the game industry. Oh my! You want to know what this is, right? Well, this behind me is an arcane forge. It was used by the LSE to create the most powerful weapons, armor... That's a good option here, I think. The coolest is Sif the Wolf of Artorias from Dark Souls. Hmm. Not bad. Whoa. Whoa, what just happened? Did it freeze out again? It... Guys, it just died. It died again. This... Is bad. This is really bad. Because it, if it is exactly like the last time that you really uh, miss a few of the trailers or part of the trailers, that, that is actually bad. You become an old fossil because of VR takes over? Nah, Bobcat. You had the opportunity to see it all. All. It's here we establish new horizons and why this faction is hellbent on world domination. You got no idea what game With this is this, yet. We will be delivering hours of intense campaign action, 
with more to come. And for the first time, we are releasing a new level editor, giving you the tools to unleash your imagination and create new content for the- They already adjusted the audio again. This oh, is only the beginning, I kind of feel bad for them. Modes plan, extra maps for you to fight on, new units to complete your strategy, more co-op modes to play with friends, and entirely new missions for our campaigns coming in the next few months. There's no time to hesitate, Commander. We want you to join us to help shape the game. Update 1.3 is available now, and for a limited Crossfire period, Legion. you can get Crossfire Legion with 34% off. I'm sorry. Is available on PC, and the August update is coming very, very soon. We've had a lot of fun tonight, but let me tell you what's not fun, Danielle. Lies. Oh. Is there another world premiere? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, uh, the good news is that we've got something electric lined up. Roll the clip. Electric? Is it a Pokemon? Are we talking about Pikachu? We had a mini event even, you know, at Games Club, so... Modus. Moro Studios, Brazil. Oh! The fates brought us here. <laughs> Battle to the beat? And who wins? In this rhythm based. Who wins? Unleash powerful special moves and supers. Are you actually defending yourself from the attacks? You're Portuguese, and why did they say Brazil? God of Rock. No, I'm curious about this game. Do, do they have already the battles prepared? So if you Plus fail, it's like you get hit. God of Rock is coming soon to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Now let's take a trip to the galaxy's edge to get a closer look at gameplay from Mech Farming Adventure Lightyear at my cat. Frontier. Oh, the Lightyear Frontier! It was one of the games that I was expecting to to watch because they announced it so many times. We're excited to share our first ever look at the early gameplay of Lightyear Frontier. We hope you enjoy. In Lightyear Frontier, you'll be starting a new home on a distant planet as an expert. Do you remember the robots that we had in Mass Effect 3? Well, here they are farming. With all the tools you need, so put them to good use. <laughs> After you get on your feet, start your first crop by planting seeds and watering them. I'm not, I'm not saying anything wrong, for more okay? Materials. I was just trying to be funny. <laughs> Yeah, I know Portuguese is Brazil's national language, but nobody said they're speaking Brazil. I said they're from Brazil, so when you said Portuguese, I thought you meant they were actually from Portugal. Portuguese because of that. Sorry, sorry, Bobcat. Build a homestead, grow crops, and explore your new surroundings. I don't think this is boring. It's just a relaxing game, a game in which you don't have to gain anything or obtain anything. You just go at your pace and that's it. Along the way, take time and enjoy the beauty of your new home in all its vivid and mysterious splendor. No. I said it's one of these games in which you just have to relax. The planet is full of beautiful and expansive environments. Maybe I'm gonna need these games. <laughs> Maybe. I gotta farm even in the night. When night falls, it's time to hit the hay and get rested for another day. Ah, ah, ah. Light Your Frontier releases in spring 2023. Take care of nature and it'll take care of you. That's all for now. Light Your Frontier is coming to PC and Xbox in spring 2023. Okay. Before we exactly, Mozilla. The, the quests, I find them necessary, but if it's just so relaxing all the time, you're just gonna use it at 
Mic check on particular Jones. moments, but eventually Peggy 18. you're not going to be always on it. Humans interfacing with computers entertainment. The very notion disgusts me. Look upon my works, foul creatures, and weep at its magnificence. It is a beautiful day on Citadel Station. Humanity is is on the verge of a new era. I, Shodan, am its new god. Look at you, hacker. A pathetic creature of meat and bone. How can you challenge a well. perfect, immortal machine? Mass Effect vibes. Mass Effect. Nothing. I create. I iterate. They already tell you the idea of it. Into perfection. Ah, imperfection. You cannot kill me. Just destroy electricity and I will never work ever again. Their blood is on your hands. You will suffer for your transgressions. Transgressions. These are my avenging angels. And they will have retribution. Just unplug him or her. Just unplug her. And that's it. Unplug the system. <laughs> hey, but it really wasn't bad. Now, seriously. It, soon to PC, it's okay. And Xbox. You know, Danielle, horror games are a lot like onions. What? You mean like they make you cry? <laughs> well, yes. But also, they have layers. Or at least the team thinks so. You're such a softie. Peggy 16. I like Danielle's voice a lot. When, and when she said you're such a shock, soft day, I really liked it. Is that I want her to tell me stories. Piano key. Looper T. Pure joy at the immediate response to my action. And then a surge of power as I realized that the piano would do what I wanted it to. What is left of it now? See it. I will never be like one of his paintings. Oh. But I can make the paintings be like me. Scarred, broken, hidden from the world, imprisoned in this house. I know what must be done. I want out! So it's you? No. It's her damaging the painter. And we're just following her, trying to help her, I guess. No. It's us in our own mental nightmare. Horror reimagined fears. Layers of fears. There was another game. Maybe it was this one. I think it had a similar name. Let In which your first look at gameplay from Wait, Layers sorry. of Fears, which is coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox in 2023. <sighs> no. Wow. There was a horror story what game in which you were in a beautiful said, boy. Um, luxury house, but then it had like a parallel part of it in which everything was dark and nasty, and it had it had to do a lot with paintings as well. Forest. I am feeling a bit unresolved. Like maybe there's more to come. <gasps> Three times. Oh, I know. Took a lot of restraint. Look, I'll be honest. I am feeling a bit unresolved. Like, maybe there's 
We're seeing it again. We're hearing it again. Too. Also, it's uh, written in the script. The one more thing. Ah. Uh. This is a cinematic sneak peek from the upcoming cyberpunk shooter, Off the Grid, which arrives from the visionary mind of District 9's Neil Blumkamp. World premiere. So it's another world premiere. The world premiere they said that there was not gonna be. Yeah, that was the joke. Switcher. I didn't come to this godforsaken island looking for money. I came here to escape. Hey, Grant! Snap on him! Grant! Are you awake? You hear me? Yeah, I fucking heard you. For a moment I thought it was my PC, but then I saw this C right here. And I said, okay, no, it's not me. And that is a sweet arm. Keep your eyes on the target, Slick! Oh, I am. <laughs> what target? You gotta get out of here. Shit! Here they go! Hey! Storm! Take him out! One of the characters looked like an actor from Marvel. You. No, but I may be confusing. I may be confused because I can't really see his face well. He played an Iron Man. Then he was switched with another actor later. Oh god. Maybe it was maybe it's just my imagination. Missile. Yeah, baby. What are you going to do to us? Get out of here! Go! I can't see him, Will. And I want to. God damn my myopia, I hate this. It's all my fault. Should have left already. I don't want them out alive. No, I don't think so. It was just my. We'll just have them. It was just my imagination. Sorry. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh my, oh. Oh my God. You're busted. Wait till they get right up against that car. They hit the fuel cells. Hi, Rafa. Part one. What a showstopper. Figuratively and literally. Because that marks the end of the show. But don't forget, you can try out all the demos on our future game show Steam page. And you can head on over to gamesradar.com to read follow-up coverage on all of the games shown today. A massive thank you to everyone involved in making this show possible. Our sponsors, Mana, and of course, all of our friends at home for tuning in. I'm Christopher Judge. And I'm Danielle Basuti. And this, this has, has been, been the Future, future Game, game show, show at Gamescom, Gamescom 2022. 2022.